In the King County Jail, Seattle misdemeanor crimes went from a daily average of 180 bookings in 2019 to less than half that last year. During the pandemic, concerns over COVID prompted jail booking restrictions, and since then, a lack of staff is among the reasons why the lower numbers continue. It's coming to a breaking point. Councilmember Bob Kettle is pushing for a pilot program that would provide 20 additional beds in Des Moines at the SCORE jail because he says something needs to change. What's happening to small businesses? businesses, the break-ins, you know, and then there's the break-ins of people's homes. I mean, these areas are being traumatized. I hear this every day of the week. It was said again today at City Hall. You can assault somebody in my neighborhood and that same day be on our doorstep. I am a Third and Pike resident, and on average, we have between 100 and 200 drug users on our block at any given time. We need more jail space. It's just something that we have to have to keep the public safe. But city documents show the contract comes at a high cost. What you're proposing is to spend $2 million a year to have Seattle police officers, the same people who you've told us are supposed to be spending their time preventing murders and DUIs and all kinds of other terrible things, shuttling shoplifters. I do not want our tax dollars going to a new, new jail. The debate is dividing the public and council members too, with Tammy Morales inquiring about working with the King County Jail to increase bed space under the contract the city already has. Why not just continue negotiations there um, instead of creating this whole new system? And a lot of questions were raised today about the time and cost of shuttling people out of Seattle to the SCORE jail and the impact it would have on the court system. But ultimately, the council committee voted to move this proposal forward. That means soon the full council will decide on it. Live tonight in Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.